Welcome to a new series uh, I'm starting for videos about the endurance laser and stuff around that, how to use it, how to focus, uh, why I'm using air assist, compare uh, engravings uh, or cuttings with and without air assist and uh, yeah, topics you mentioned on the uh, Facebook community so I will pick them up, make a, make a video out of it and yeah tell you some stuff how you may be able to fix your laser or uh, how to connect it to a controller or stuff like that so today we will start with the first topic pretty easy one pretty short uh, maybe as well um, it's simple how to focus or how I focus my laser and uh, how I do the whole process of focusing um, in the past I've already already uh, posted a PDF file uh, where I guided how to focus the laser correctly well, what I think how to focus it correctly so yeah now I will show it in a video so people can watch it and maybe it will help them and yeah I will change the camera view and uh, we'll tell you something about it so uh, I've driven my laser into the middle of my yeah, build space, I'll call it like that. And uh, you can see I've put a lot of magnets uh, on my build plate. Mm, it's made of a, out of steel. Uh, it's to fix my wood or anything else I'm placing above that with other magnets. Um, yeah, it's everything is pretty stiff and pretty good held on the build plate and some wavy plates can be grounded down and uh, are even again after I fix them with the magnets. So for focusing I'm using a special coated uh, aluminium plate. Um, yeah I got them from my local uh, laser engraving supplier where I bought all my uh, yeah, sheets I'm using for for uh, engraving for some plates or anything else so they're special coated and um, I need to ask what they're made of so I maybe can tell you or if you want them uh, I can send you some if you want so yeah, I'm using these cause uh, they're making a little sizzling sound and the uh, dot if it's focus in the correct focus uh, turns red so yeah let me show you how I'm doing it the uh, for cutting wood um, as I said I'm placing the wood above the magnets and uh, I'm focusing underneath the wood so um, the magnets are seven millimeter high and uh, yeah I will put a little uh, block here where I'm starting to focus focusing so it's pretty even to the magnets uh, at the moment I'm in the right focus I will try to show you uh, in a moment how I'm doing that uh, I hope the camera will show it if I'm um, I'm put the glasses on the camera as well so let me do that because I'm using an uh, Rams 1.4 board for controlling my laser um, and I'm using the uh, part cooling fan output of the Rams board I'm using the commands M106S02255 and for focusing I'm using on that case M106S5 
So now I'm tor turning the lens till I got the smallest dot I'm able to get. And one thumb there. As I said before, I get a small sizzling sound. And it the the dot is changing its color to to red. So yeah, that's why I'm using the special coated aluminum because it's easiest way. Uh, if you're using wood or something like that, you won't be able to focus your laser correctly because the laser will burn into the wood. Uh, especially for my 10 watt laser and yeah now that I'm in correct focus underneath the wood I can either cut it uh, doesn't matter if I cut uh, 3 millimeter or 2 millimeter or 1 millimeter wood I don't need to uh, change the focus for all these uh, millimeter thick woods and uh, didn't test it with 4 millimeter but I think I got like 3 to 4, four millimeters of uh, range for that focus point so everything should be fine now I'm turning the laser off again so I'm getting the laser back into the home position and yeah that's pretty much all for focusing for cutting wood and the other thing for engraving on stuff is that I'm taking the uh, aluminium sheets sheets to uh, and putting them as high as the en to engraved material is. So, as an example, I will put a uh, wooden she uh, sheet on the table, put my and to be engraved stuff on that, and uh, we'll put a aluminium uh, special coated aluminium sheet on top of that, and focus it on top of the en to be engraved material. So. For that I got my best results and yeah I hope I was able to guide you a little and uh, more topics will follow up like uh, you may see my setup of error assist which is not quite uh, ready yet um, I've done some changes but I will explain them in the next video and yeah also for for connecting the laser to the laptop or to my control board and which uh, special firmware I'm using and stuff like that and if you get any topics in mind which you think a video would be good about just let me know in the comments down below and yeah just give me your feedback would be nice thanks a lot and have a nice day bye Thank <laughs> you.